So this is the model which we are going to simulate. So this is the drive cycle. Uh, this will be giving the data in terms of meter per second. So the output will be in terms of uh, meter per second and the data that we give will be in terms of kilometer per hour. So it will be given as uh, input to the uh, driver module. So here we have the longitudinal driver module. So to this uh, longitudinal driver module, it will be giving uh, three inputs. One is the velocity reference, which will be in terms of meter per second. Uh, then vol uh, velocity feedback, again that will be in terms of meter per second and the grade. So since we are taking a uh, slope with zero angle, uh, zero angle, so we are giving zero here. And the output of this longitudinal driver uh, block will be the acceleration as well as the deceleration. Uh, deceleration is otherwise called the braking. And the output of this becomes the IQ reference of FOC. So as you know, the FOC has got uh, two layers. One is uh, uh, the outer layer, which is the speed control loop, and the inner layer, which is called the current loop. So in the current loop, we have two things. One is the uh, direct axis current and second one is the quadrature axis current. So we are getting the quadrature axis current, actual direct and quadrature axis current uh, by undergoing Clark's transformation and uh, Park angle transformation. Initially the value of uh, all the three phase currents uh, will be uh, gathered from uh, I mean from the measurement block of the motor then it will be compared to I mean, converted to alpha beta frame uh, where we'll be giving getting uh, two uh, AC signals from three AC signals and uh, here uh, we are converting two AC signals to two uh, straight uh, I mean constant uh, values direct, direct axis current and quarter axis current so those two becomes the actual current and uh, from the previous stage that is from the uh, outer loop we are getting the uh, IQ reference which will be compared with the actual uh, quadrature axis current. Then we have the PA controller. Uh, the output of this PA controller will be the uh, quadrature axis voltage. And parallel to that we have uh, a loop which will be used to um, produce the uh, direct axis voltage reference. And this is the ID reference. So by comparing this ID reference with uh, the actual ID, we are uh, getting the error and that error will be given as input to the PID controller, PA controller in fact, and this will be the reference uh, direct, direct axis voltage. And from these two voltages, we are uh, converting, uh, I mean, we are uh, uh, converting the voltages to alpha and beta frames. And after that, we are going for SVPWM conversion. So this block will be producing six pulses for uh, uh, for the inverters, inverter. And the output will be connected to the inverter. And here we have the motor module. So since we have the back EMF as a sine wave, uh, it will act like a uh, PMSM. So if you give trapezoidal, it will be acting like BLDC motor. So I have selected uh, the mechanical rotation port here. So if uh, if you select mechanical rotation port, we can directly connect the uh, vehicle model. So uh, here we have the provision to measure the load torque. Uh, then this is the transmission of the vehicle. And here we have the uh, four wheeler model or car model. These are the wheels and this is the vehicle body and the battery ratings, uh, the nominal voltage is 300 volts and the SOC of the battery is 50 percentage. And here we have the uh, block which will do the regenerative braking action. And here we have the block which will measure the uh, SOC of the battery current.
So let us simulate this model. Uh, see the data for the uh, Indian drive cycle is there in the workspace. Okay, so if you uh, click on this, the IDC data will get loaded here. So let us simulate the model. Yes, the simulation has started to run. So here we have the provision to uh, measure the parameters like SOC of the battery, <coughs> speed reference, then actual speed and here uh, we have the torque and from here we can uh, see the values of uh, uh, SOC of the battery, current, battery voltage, also the power, power transfer during uh, regenerative braking. So during the time of regenerative braking, the SOC of the battery will improve and during the uh, time of motoring, the, uh, the SOC of the battery will decrease. And at the same time during regenerative braking, uh, the current flow will be uh, in the negative direction and during uh, motoring mode, the current flow will be in positive direction. Let us open the scope. Yes. So as you can see, when the braking is applied, you can see the SOC increasing. So here also the braking is applied, you can see the SOC increasing and here also the same case. So when the SOC is increasing, the corresponding current will, will be in the negative direction. So here we have brake. Uh, current flow will be in reverse direction. Yes. 